Hi friends! Welcome to 30 Aches 30 Days November 2022 of Retrospective because like all good project managers you got to do a retrospective when you're done. Um, so here's our finished calendar. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, a pretty good mix of like really light inks, some really saturated inks, and um, a few but not too many shimmers. Uh, I had a great time. Here are, let's see if we can do this. Nope. Here's all the inks we did. This just stuck to my finger. That's how saturated it is. I loved this. So much fun. Here's um my paper towels, which I think are, well, that one's boring. This one's pretty boring, too. These have some lovely stuff going on on them. Now they can go in the waste. But I wanted to talk about hits and misses and the others. So we'll start this off. I made, so this journal of mine, I took notes every day. I did a transcription. Oh, which I will get. So I have been working on the haunted attic. Hopefully the lighting is okay. It's really bright sun, which is in my yeah. eyes. And I've been transcribing into this. Um, this is the endless notebook I got with regalia paper. And I'm up to page 65 in the book. It's 60 in here. So I'm hoping I have enough pages. So every day I did one page front and back in an ink. And then I wrote my thoughts about how I felt about using the ink in that other notebook. So that I would remember at the end of the month. Because otherwise my favorites would be like, well, I remember these, so they must have been good. Um, but we're going to start with the misses. So... My least favorites. Push this up. And here we are. So we'll talk about this pen. I didn't have one five nine which was having problems and I took a loop and I looked inside the nib collar and there's an extra hole that shouldn't be there at the side of the nib collar um, I don't think oh nope there you can kind of see it the shadow that second light dot that shouldn't be there so this pen is basically trash now Unless I wanted to get another section. But I don't. I didn't like the pin that much anyway. Still a bummer. Then we have... Um, this one and this one. So this is my Fountain K and my Go. Both pins I know pretty well. And like. And they had... The... Krishna Golden Summer Blue and Monarca, Monarca Cardona. And this one kept drying up. So Golden Summer Blue, you can see also it like coats this. It's possible that it would, that it has stained my converter, but I don't know. However, as I was writing with it, it kept drying. I had to like keep wetting the nib so that it would flow. So... That's a failure. How, uh, that said, I mean, the color is amazing. I love that it's a, a blue with gold sheen. 
the sheen came across in the writing, which I also like. Let's see if we find that page. Um, so I liked the ink when it wasn't a problem. However, it was a problem. So there's, there's definitely one thing I ask of my pens and ink, and that is that they write. Well, I can't find the page. It's too late. So there's that. The Cardona, similar problem. Um, I wrote this down. It keeps stopping, and I thought maybe it was clogging from shimmer, but, I mean, this pen, it can handle it. It has handled it on other things. Um, and, it's, and it was, like, railroading. So I'm not sure... I don't hate the inks, and I will try Cardona in another pen in case it was a pen problem and not an ink problem, but those were misses. <clears throat> then, look at that. Look at, do you see this? That's from the card that I touched. Y'all, these pens, hmm. These were the inks that were too light. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just had no patience for them. <laughs> so we have here a few of the Sailor Yurameku. We have Seki, Kanyo, and Kyoko. We have Krishna's Cassia Flora. We have Krishna's Bamboo Shoots, Sailor Man Yohaha, and Van Diemen's Snowy Mountain Sunset. This is a gorgeous ink. And the funny thing is, it wrote better. It showed up better in my fine nib. Because what I did is I replaced the nib in the pen. I did one page with um, a fine, well, maybe it was a medium, it felt fine, nib, and then I did the other side with broad, and I feel like this is legible, and this was less so. So that was interesting to me, which does make me wonder, these other inks that I felt were too light, would they do better in a fine nib? Because it's going to concentrate the same amount of ink into a finer line. So I may try it, although my 3776 is not particularly broad, so maybe not. Nor is uh, this Lamy Vista. This has a left-hand nib on it, if I recall correctly. So pretty inks, beautiful colors. It turns out I was too frustrated by them. So those are the misses. Now, I have a whole like set up here. I thought like what I should do is, is like my hits as a, you know, like yearbook thing, like best personality, best smile. And I couldn't do that, but I did come up with one that I just felt like, <laughs> Most likely to succeed. <laughs> Which was for me like the most businessy. And it, it <laughs> but businessy for me is like, who are you even kidding? My Franklin Kristoff, which had, let me get this right. Yeah. Cielo Cruel by Monarca. I loved it. It's so beautiful. So, oh. It's noon, everyone. So pretty. I loved the color. It wrote nicely. It's just... Yep. So let's see if I had anything... Oh, hmm, sun's going behind a cloud. Let's see what I had to say about it. If there's anything... Particularly... Said Cielo Cruel is gorgeous, not too much shading, a good amount. Works well on both papers. Probably would love anything in this pen. That's probably not true, but I did like it. And then, alternate choice. <laughs> 
This pin is too, like, whatever for most likely to succeed. This is my Sailor Pro Gear, and let me make sure I have this right. Had the um, Shikiori Yamadori in it. Yeah. Gorgeous. Now, <laughs> these are like the same color. And I promise that's not why I picked them, okay? I do like that color, but Shikiori Yamadori. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's just my type. Like Tsukio maybe, Sailor California a bit, Emerald of Shavor, question mark. So many lovely inks like this, and I will get them all. No. <laughs> um seen some sheen on the regalio paper. So I just really liked it. It, it, it wrote well. It wrote well. Um, then we had, uh, I'm gonna pick this one next. My Walltown Lumley with the Robert Oster Deep Sea. And what I said is today's pen and ink is gloriously uncomplicated. The two coordinate well, which is nice, but this ink is just performing. I don't notice it when writing. It's not distracting me with issues. It's not getting in my way. Now, of note, the three previous days, I <laughs> said so this were this one, Cardona, which had been, was drying up and railroading, Kyoko, which was um, too light, and Haha, -ha, which was too light. So some of this is because it was not a problem for a change, but it's also a color I love, as I commented. Um, next up, uh, one a couple that surprised me. So this is funny. These two, my uh, Pelican M205 in Moonstone and my Caveco Perkeo in Clear, two German pens, and they had Ash and Seize the Night in them, uh, respectively. These were inks that I had totally overlooked from Inkvent. They did not interest me a whole lot. They didn't blow me away. And I loved them. I, 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 there's nothing left in either pens. Partly that's because I filled them a sensible amount. But I really liked working with them. And so I'm looking forward to, to keeping these and using them again. But they surprised me. I hadn't. I just thought they were going to be like, eh. Um, so then we have um, a couple that I don't have the bottles for anymore, I think. Is that right? No, I just don't have one of them I just don't have here. Uh, I, we started off with a bang. I really love the Twisby Mini with the polar lights. So that's on my top list. Then we have this Walltown Catsburg in Nadashiko. So Nadashiko is a light-ish, it's a shading ink, but it is dark enough and it didn't cause me problems and helps me realize that I don't hate the Monio line. And I put all of the ink that I had in here. So I will be leaving this ink and using it up. Um, my Twisby Eco in Transparent Purple with uh, Jacques Urban, uh 1670 Violet Imperial. I mean, of course. Um, am I missing... Oh, yes, I'm missing a pen. Well, it's all right. I'm not going to grab it. My vintage pen, um, which had Sailor Yurameku Kyokuya. This was so great. It was so expressive and wonderful. Um, I really, every time I think that um, I should, like, get rid of that pen, I use it. And then I'm like, oh, but it's so, it's so wonderful. Um, <laughs> it's it's so nice to write with. <laughs> so, that's this one. Good expression. 
And we have my Twisby Go Sapphire with Mar Caribe. I love the color. They match well. Beautiful. And a surprise. My Twisby Go in clear with Vinta Inks Leite or Sea Kelp. What? Who am I? Here's what I had to say about this ink. Leite looks like pickles, and I like the way it writes. So, there you go. It's true. Um, those are my favorites. Curious if you have some of the same favorites. And also, what I really like about these favorites is talk about a range of prices, too, in the pens. Um, I think one of, or my very most expensive pen is here. And then also one of my cheapest pens is here. Um, so not a snob in that sense. And then there's the others. I don't want to leave them out from their time in the sun. <laughs> time in the spotlight. None of these were bad. They were just fine. They were good, but I had to draw the number somewhere. I said no more than 10 in either category. And, well, this one had 11, but one was an honorable mention. Anyway, um, so these didn't make that list. Uh, I am planning on cleaning out at least 20 of these pens immediately. Partly that's because they're empty. Partly, I'm just done with them. So, that was my 30 inks. Um, I'm gonna, uh, did you have a favorite among my inks here? Uh, I, I'm going to take a look through of any other comments I made. Um, no. I feel like this ink, I didn't even actually write what I thought about it because I knew what I thought about it. I knew I wouldn't forget. Um, I am looking forward to writing with whatever ink and pen I feel like for a given day and not sticking to just one. Um, um, I This practice has made me realize I really don't like these super, super saturated inks. So like sea urchin, which is like marking up my hands now from this. I got this in March of last year and it's still like lifting. Uh, Santiago Sea Blue. They're beautiful, but I don't like writing with them. Um, and that's helpful for me for buying new inks. And the same thing with these very light chromo shading inks. They're beautiful, but impractical. And so I think um, it does make me question. I have one or two that are in that category, and it'll be interesting to see how frequently or not I reach for them over the coming year. So my, I'm working on my plans for what we do next. Maybe a little flip through this in bright sunlight. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you did too. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope that whatever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.